This step is completely optional. Uh, this is another Adobe product. It's called Adobe Media Encoder. And what this does is it does a good job of making the file size much smaller. So the way that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna click in this area here. I'm gonna go find my file. So if we go into Snowman, Clips, I can see here's the Snowman animation. I open it up. And that's it, that's all I have to do. And now I'm just gonna hit this play button. And really with the default settings, it should, uh, it shouldn't even take very long. Now let's see what happens. If I go back to your snowman clips, okay, here's the one we did is 148 megabits, and the new one is only four megabits. Okay, so now if I play this, it should look pretty much exactly the same. All right, so. Congratulations, I hope you really kind of enjoyed this uh, first look at Maya. And once again, we talked about a lot of different things. We talked about using the orthographic viewport to align and um, make some primitives. We talked about duplication for his buttons and his eyes. We also talked about the special duplication for the fence. And then we added materials and we added different colors to things. We looked at using the content browser to create the tree. And we also looked at creating a plane and then moving the vertices with soft select to get the nice sloping snow. Then we talked about adding dynamics into the scene to, to make it snow. We added a texture to each or to one snowflake and then we applied that texture to all the snowflakes along with its transparency. We talked about adding some lighting into the scene, um, what it means to render, and we even animated the hat blowing off of our character. So once again, I feel like we covered a lot of different concepts and hopefully this helps you um, get a sense of how Maya is organized. So thank you very much. We'll see you later.